Hey there, good morning and welcome to the vlog. So today, I'm super excited about today's vlog. I'm trying to get things done around the house, trying to get more videos done, trying to get some more holiday prep done. I'm gonna be sharing all of that in the video, but I also want to give our bathroom a little mini makeover. So it's not gonna be a huge makeover. We're not knocking down walls and painting today. But I wanted to kind of give our bathroom a spa feel. So I ordered some fun items from Amazon, some shower steamers, and just some cute accessory items. And I'm hoping that it'll kind of give our bathroom a little bit of a spa vibe. So I'm gonna share that today. Um, and then other than that, it is kind of a regular day around the house. Me working, Dan's off at work, the girls are at school. Natalie has an after school activity. She does a lot of after school activities. So I'll, you know, get them when they're done with school and their after school activities. And I might make something in the crock pot today for dinner. So I'm just gonna take you along for my day and welcome back to Vlogmas. So I got everything out of the box here and I'm gonna start kind of grouping things together. So I'm super excited about these. These are some shower bombs where you can actually put it into the shower and it's like a shower steamer. I also got some of this magnesium bath flakes. It's like a bath soak. So you can use this instead of or in addition to bath bombs. I got some, this is for doing a pedicure at home. It's a callus remover for your feet. Um, I also got some, hopefully fun, let's get them open here, canisters that are a set of three, and then also some plastic organizers to help continue to organize drawers. Um, I had to get some cuticle oil, not necessarily related to the shower and the bath spa thing, but um, we just needed some in general, so that came at the same time. And then a number of different type of loofahs and different type of wooden spoons. Let's see, what is this back here? Oh, this is um, some speakers to put in the wall. I'm going to actually use one of these in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. Um, so this is a Bluetooth speaker that plugs in and has a nice little handy dandy um, holder. And then there is a shower back brush and some beautiful towels. I've been wanting to try these gold case towels. I also got some faux branches and the vase, I think, that I was going to put those in is not here yet. So we'll see if it shows up later today. But let's open up this canister set and see what this looks like. So this is just a set of three canisters that all look similar. And I like that they had this bronze top. I'm using that as an accent in some of the rooms. So I'm just planning on using this for some of the various items to put those down inside and using it for some of the decor on the side of the tub. So that is part of my goal. But then just kind of changing out some of the items in the room where you can just take a relaxing bath. You have just some extra self-care items at your disposal. Oh, I got some of these for Christmas actually. Um, there's this and then I think also a detangling comb. Natalie really likes these claw clips so I was gonna put a couple in the bathroom for baths but then the rest of them I'm gonna give to Natalie for Christmas. So there's one little Christmas gift. Hopefully Natalie's not watching this video. Um, hi Natalie if you are. Um, but there is um, these. I'm excited to try these out. Let's get these open. These are a natural care loofah sponge and I think that these just look really neat as well so I'm excited to kind of put some of these in there and I have a few more items on the way but we'll go ahead and get it started today. So here's what this area looks like right now and I just kind of want to work on this a little bit. I'm thinking about getting some floating shelves and putting it up over the tub for some extra storage. And then this um, tray I have from, I think it's Magnolia, from Target. I've had that since the last house. And the candle is from Target. And that is a threshold from Target years and years and years ago towel. I just really love it because it has the key on there. So I kind of used that setup when I was staging our last bathroom as well. But I kind of just wanted to add some pieces around the outside to make it feel a little bit more spa-like. I used this basket to put like my... Um, bath bombs and things like that especially like lush ones in there and then I had these flowers that were just kind of left over from the last house and I just stuck them over there so my idea was I have a bath pillow that goes back there and I got a set of three canisters that can go along here I got a taller vase with some taller 
um, things that can kind of fill up this corner a little bit more. And then I'm thinking if I get some floating shelves over here. So this is going to be a multi-step process. We're just going to put the canisters out today and it'll be some additional options. But I am just starting to come up with ideas on how to revamp this space. So for Feel free to post your ideas down below. Um, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to be like knocking out walls or anything, but I just want to make this feel uh, more spa-like. And this is the pillow that I use. I like this one because it's long and it actually goes down the back of the tub, so that's really nice as well. So I'm just going to set that over there, but you can get the idea. So I'm going to get the canisters out, give everything a quick wipe down, and... Hopefully that vase shows up today because I'd love to get that replaced because I think that'll look nice in the corner. So I got this set of three canisters to use here in the bathroom just to kind of create more of a spa feel and I can put all of my different bath salts and different items down inside here. So I'm going to get these filled up but I like that it came as a set of three matching canisters and there is a small, medium, and large. The smallest size you can fit q-tips, you can fit bath bombs in the bigger ones. So let's fill it up so you can kind of get a gauge for the size. So these shower bombs I'm going to put in the medium one and I'm going to put this in the canister that's going to be closest to the outside since it's right next to the shower. These are nice because they're all individually wrapped so you can just easily grab them out one at a time. So that's going to be the shower steamers. Then in this larger one I am going to put these Ancient Minerals bath flakes. Then in this little one I'm just going to put some of these compressed towels. And those are ready to use. So this is like my spa item area. I like how that's coming together. Inside the three canisters, you can see I have three different items in here. So in the tallest canister, I just put some bath salts and a six inch wood spoon. So that way you can easily get to those. In this one, there's some shower steamers that are individually packaged, but that keeps those all together. And then in the smallest one, there's just some compressed towels. So that way you can easily grab one of those if you are in the bathtub or if you need one by the sink area. So I think this set's gonna work great to keep the bath area organized. and. The other thing I'm working on is I ordered these sage curtains to put up here in our bedroom. So you can see that we kind of went to more blues and greens and I ordered these curtains before I really knew what we were going to do decor wise. And also the walls were a different color when I ordered those as well. So we really like these because they are a thick material and they've got a really nice like blackout effect whenever you have them closed. And I really like that they have like the linen look on them, but now that I know what accent colors we are going to have in here, this curtain style almost actually ended up being the same color as like the wood. So I'm going to take those down and we're going to try these and see what these look like and see if this kind of helps pull everything together. So it's a little bit different color. This is actually more of a true sage than even like the bed is. This has a little bit more blue in it and this is more green, but we're gonna see if it kind of pulls together. So this is what it looks like from across the room when it's half and half. So you can see that it's definitely lighter on the left side with the kind of ivory or cream ones. And then with the sage ones, the color isn't picking up real great on camera. It actually looks more muted once it's up against the wall, but it does look like a sage. So I may just leave it like this to kind of see what I think, but I think you can kind of see it does pull in with the darker tones on the bedspread a little bit more. So I think it's just really a matter of whether or not we want to go lighter or darker with the curtains. I'm letting them sit on there, but honestly, now that they're up, I kind of don't know if I like them. I may stick with the other ones. It's because they're so much darker. And the ones I had it previously kind of pull from the top of the headboard. And it makes the room a lot darker with the sage ones. I guess I just envisioned kind of a brighter sage. I don't know if that's a possibility. But I just had envisioned kind of a brighter sage. I wasn't really envisioning a dark sage. Um, but it's actually extremely dark. Much darker than I thought it was going to be. I was kind of thinking it would be kind of like... You know, like some of the tones that are in this pillow 
which I guess it is, it's just on the darker side of it. So I'm gonna let this one simmer because I don't really know. So I'm gonna switch gears and work in the kitchen for a few minutes and I think I'm gonna put some chicken in the crock pot. I'm gonna do the Italian chicken with using the Olive Garden dressing. If you haven't made this before, it's really super good. Definitely recommend it and it's super easy as well. I think I've shown it before, but we'll go ahead and make it just in case. So ingredients wise, I'm just gonna use the chicken breast tenderloins, put these in the crock pot. I'm gonna cook it on high. Um, so that way it can be done by dinner. You can use either mozzarella or parmesan. I don't have any parmesan, shredded parmesan on hand, so I'm going to use mozzarella. And put a bit of this um, Philadelphia cream cheese in there. And then the secret ingredient, quote unquote secret, because it's not a secret, but is this Olive Garden dressing. It's a signature Italian dressing. So good. And it just seasons the chicken up so nicely. And then you can put a different pasta in there with it or you can serve it with a vegetable side. There's a lot of different ways you can serve it. So I'm going to mix all this up in the crock pot, put it on high, and that'll be done for dinner tonight. So I just dump it all right in there together. Then you just pour that quote-unquote secret ingredient right over it and this will be all nice and melty after it sits in the crock pot for a couple of hours on high. I'll just stir it all together, let it sit a little bit longer, and then I'll probably put some pasta in with it so I'll make that pasta later on this evening. So I just made myself an afternoon snack. I just had a bagel with some uh, blueberries spread on it and some country crock. And then I am going to go get a couple more things done upstairs in my office and it's going to be time to go with the kids here shortly. So I've got a little bit of work done here in my office. I've got a couple videos edited and done and I've got to switch gears and go get Isabella. And then it's just like a short, short turnaround and then i got to go get Natalie from her after school activity. Uh, but I'm going to go get Isabella and then get our evening started. So literally all of my Black Friday purchases arrived on the same day. So it's like a box intaking zone in here in the front of the house. Uh, Penguin's giving it a good sniff, but I will share some of my fun purchases and some upcoming videos because I'm going to go get Natalie in a minute. What'd you find, buddy? <laughs> you hiding back there? But let's open this up real quick because this is the wreath that I'm hopefully going to make the house village dupe out of. I'm guessing by the box. It couldn't be anything else. <laughs> so let's open this up and look at the wreath. Da, 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 da. Penguin doesn't know what to make about all these boxes everywhere. So this should be pre-lit and it is super pretty. It's actually just pretty how it is. I love that. So if I mess it up, maybe I'll just take everything off and just use it like this. But this is the wreath. I don't have time today, but I think we're going to put this on the to-do list for tomorrow. This is the wreath that I'm planning on making into the anthropo Anthropology Village House Dupe wreath. So I don't know which houses I'm going to use that. I'm going to sit down with all my supplies and start working on that tomorrow. But I'm super excited now. I think I have everything here because I've got the little trees, I've got the houses. I've got different, you know, hot glue and wire and all that already from other projects. And now that the wreath's here, I think I have everything that I need. Ta-da! Here's one sneak peek of one thing. I'm going to open all this later because i got to go get Natalie. But this is a large um, Longchamp tote. And it's in a color called Cypress, which is a really pretty deep sage green, obviously on a green kick. And then a couple things from Fashion File, but I'm going to show all of those on uh, my other channel. So I'm going to put all this away because i got to go okay, get Okay, I'm back from getting all the kids and it is time to make dinner. Or I guess more specifically make the noodles that go with dinner. So I'm going to get some water boiled here to put egg noodles in here. And this is what the chicken mixture is looking like. In fact, I can turn that down a little bit now. That's what the chicken mixture is looking like. For the people that do want noodles, um, we can add these noodles in. I'm going to add some water to my tea. It's done brewing. And this is quick and easy. It'll only take about 8 to 10 minutes to do these noodles. And then dinner will be done right about the time that Dan gets home. So the noodles are done, and then I'm just going to put them into this and mix it all together. I did put a little chicken in a plate for Natalie because she prefers to not have noodles, but everyone else will just do the noodles and the chicken combined. So I'm going to mix it all together here in the crock pot, and dinner will be done then. And this is what it looks like all mixed together, so I just got to dish this up into the bowls and get everything over to the table. Thanks for watching another Vlogmas Day, and we'll be back with some more vlogs coming up soon for Vlogmas. Have a great day!